sometimes when my eyes are red. I go up on top of the RCA building and gaze at my world. Manhattan. My buildings. Streets I've done feats in. Lofts. Beds. Cold water flats. On Fifth Avenue, below, which I also bear in mind. Bridges, sunrise over Brooklyn machine, sun go down over New Jersey, where I was born, and Patterson, where I played with ants. My later loves on 15th Street. My greater loves of Lower East Side. My once fabulous amours in the Bronx. Far away. Paths crossing in these hidden streets. My history summed up. My absences and ecstasies in Harlem. Sad. I take the elevator and go down, pondering. I walk on the pavements and stop, amused in front of an automobile shop window. Standing lost in calm thought. Traffic moving up and down Fifth Avenue blocks behind me. Waiting for a moment. When? Time to go home and cook supper. And listen to the romantic war news on the radio. All movement stops. And I walk in the timeless sadness of existence. Tenderness flowing through the buildings. My fingertips touching reality's face. My own face streaked with tears in the mirror of some window at dusk. And all these streets leading so crosswise, honking lengthily by avenues, stalked by high buildings or crusted into slums, through such halting traffic, screaming cars and engines. So painfully to this countryside, this graveyard, this stillness on deathbed or mountain, one scene never regained or desired in the mind to come, where all Manhattan that I've seen must disappear. <laughs>